Holla, peeps, it's your girl Cherie, reporting live for Cherie TV. Holla, watching Dr. Drew. One of the Zimmerman drawers is going to be on tonight, talking about why she can't sleep since the since the verdict. Of course you can't sleep since the verdict. You let a killer go. Right now they're talking about uh, Amanda Bynes, Bynes, whatever her name is. I didn't really know who she was until all this. Yeah. I don't have kids, you know what I'm saying? Dr. Drew, he put her all on blast. He was like, now let's make sure we understand she's not in a ho hospital. She's in a psychiatric ward. Like, he had to let everybody know. Bimmy put her on blast hard. Okay. No, let's just make sure we all understand. She's psychotic. She isolated herself in New York City, and that's where... It really you know, went south, and you know her and her her cell phone with that. What? Uh, we all saw what happened. Then. Well, you and I got a little bit of a Twitter war with her. Yeah, so See, that's Twitter fabulous. She's wearing a green wig. What would y'all do if I showed up in a green wig? I say shock pink. You know what I mean? I'll just show up one day in a crazy looking shock pink, black lipstick. And raccoon eyes. Healthy, refer to you're ugly, and I want you to leave me alone. And uh, I thought, wow, hey, she's pretty black. I want to put some more black <laughs> shit around my eyes. Boy, I meant nothing but accept and, and, and we try to help, and yeah. you know, she, she originally. Holla Canada, Lori. Numbers, everything. So the only way for any of her old friends to get in touch with her was through the Twitter Damn. account. And that's Holla Mary Ann. Say, look, I'm there for you if you need me, and. You know, I got to well. Here's what I think. I think she may come out of this well. She's in proper care. She could be a spokesperson for these kinds of illnesses someday. She could live a rich and very productive life in entertainment. She will no longer be doing Twitter, I would imagine, if she gets proper treatment. And we can look forward to that. But in the meantime, I'm going to go around the panel. I'll start with Denise. What should the parents do? What do you believe parents should do in this situation? If they have an adult child with mental illness, what can parents do? You know, Why is he pegging her already? How old is she? Twenty-four. She's been acting her whole life. From Nickelodeon. They just need to go all in. They need to take a page out of Britney Spears' dad's book and go all in, do whatever it takes. Cut Your parents should just take control, control let her spin out, be a regular 20-whatever-year-old, watch her real close. Dr. Drew asked the girl if she was a personal question. What's with the wigs, though? I mean, like, wigs are for fashion. Hers are scary. Like, ooh, like, what happened? Who sold her that wig? Okay. Oh my god, two snaps up. Baby, you know, takes lots of pictures of me with her when she goes to get my new hair. And her and the girl look at my pictures, you know. I mean, I go sometimes, but a lot of times I don't because I'd rather be here with you guys, you know. But yeah, for years, baby's been picking out my hair. Okay, I'm busy. I don't have time. Yeah. I won the war between the North and South. I love. I did.
She's not only in the house, I put her in the field, too. I mean, I, uh, you know what I mean? Like, wh who sold her that? That green wig. Oh, my God. Is that her thing? Or? See, I don't know either. Like, I don't know if that's her thing. Maybe that's her shtick, you know? I don't know. I have no idea who she is. It's been a long time since I've watched Nickelodeon. But I did used to watch You Can't Do That on Television. I was raised on it. I was in love with Kevin Ku Kevin Kubitschewski. Remember him, y'all? People are afraid to do it, and it is life-saving. Lance, from what you witnessed, um, what do you think? Yeah, you can't do that on television. Do you think she's going to accept treatment, or do you think she's going to actually It was like a hit show, okay? I don't think it's going to be Bowling for dollars. That was a hit show. Touch your mouth, baby girl. I love you. 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 I don't want to be on there. They're your typical parents. You know, they're, they're just like don't want to be on there. Come put your arms around me and say hello. No. Hey. Hey. <laughs> You know, I ain't gonna be on there. This is it. Let me give you a hairstyle. And, and then, I'm not, good. Because I ate Twinkies. I ate a Twinkie yesterday. I think I ate two of them. I have to stop enjoying this junk food. You know? Just stop. Yeah, I like this one, babe. Thank you, panel. Next up, Miss Ali is back. We're gonna get her reaction. Oh, Miss Ali, holla! She owes Trayvon Martin's parents an apology. Right later. Look at that one. That's a nice hat. A crown. Crown. That's what she's wearing. Crown. Miss Ali, star of the show, and Dr. Drew. Okay, isn't she a riot? She's great. Don't take her too seriously, y'all. She's a little loose in the head. You know? Just laugh and keep on going. She's separatist. See, it's not just white people that are like that. There are some, some black people that are separatists as well. And she's one of them. So, you know, the same way we deal with white separatists, we make fun of them and laugh at them, we'll do with her. You know what I mean? Because if you take it too seriously, it just tears us apart. And biracial children are beautiful. I'm in an inter interracial relationship. You know? She wouldn't like baby. She would call baby a devil. You devil, babe. You a white devil. She's just sitting there. White devil. White power. <laughs> oh, Davo, Jack. No. You never heard that term? No. See, in the 70s, Baby was on a big old farm in Texas in a small town. Sheltered. She comes from it wasn't a good farm. It was a ranch. It's a ranch. But it did have a big old barn on it. Two. Two big old barns. And a... What's that thing called? Three ponds. With three ponds. One with water moccasins in it. Three with water moccasins. And you had me up there. <laughs> See, I could have lost my life. You wasn't in the water. I swam in those lakes. Not in our My mom told me too. She said, Sharice, stay away from those lakes. You never know what's in there. And I swam in the lake. <laughs> Baby likes my nails with no polish. Why? It looks so plain. I like it, I like it, I like it like that. She likes it like that. 
what? Nutri-grain bars are good. I don't want to miss Miss Ali. Let's turn this up during the commercial. Now keep in mind when she speaks, she is back in the slave time. You have to remember that so you don't get angry. See, I'm stopping the riots right now. You know what I'm saying? Holla. Breaking news in the George Zimmerman case. Your B-29 so-called, the one holdout who has not spoken since the verdict, has given an interview to ABC News. The woman who goes only by Maddie says she thought Zimmerman was guilty of killing Trayvon Martin, but her hands were tied. Take a look. That the law was read to me. If you have no proof that he killed them intentionally, you can't. Um, you can't say he did you. Did you want to step out at all? Did you want to... I was a juror that was going to give us a hung jury. Oh, I was. I fought to the end. Joining us, Attorney Lottie Coombs, author of Your Perfect and Other Lives, Terrence she Hill. She fought the end. Attorney Casey Jordan, star of Wives with Knives on Investigation Discovery. Crystal Wright from ConservativeBlackChick.com. And Shahrazad Ali, author of Are You Still a Slave? Ah! <laughs> Her book is called Are You Still a Slave? Yes, it did. You know, she said that Zimmerman killed Trayvon and that he was guilty. We already knew that, but I know that what she's having is a mental conflict because she don't she doesn't feel that she did enough to maybe get him convicted. And that's very similar to what we feel as black people because we love white people. And the conflict is that we know how badly we have been treated by white people, but that creates a conflict in us because you give us nothing in return for the love that we show, and so that plagues us, and it gives us a problem. And so I know what she's going through, and she'll be conflicted the rest of her life. And, and I, know, I know you always go there, and I let, maybe it's the conflict is that you see disappointment whenever you're let down, and that hurts Oh, people. I know. No? No. Well, I'm not saying you're not let down. This is not the imagination of truth. This okay. is not the imagination of truth. This is the truth. All right, Casey, what about this woman stepping forward? What are your thoughts? Uh, the one thing I took away from what she said, she is indeed very conflicted, but she followed the law. Yes, she thinks that he was guilty, but of what? The law did not provide an avenue for a verdict that she could actually back up. The law is written very badly. The stand your ground is this huge nebulous thing where as long as the victim dies, it's one person's word against a dead person. So it's whatever they say. And she had to find reasonable doubt because Trayvon Martin is around to tell his side of the story. But she London, didn't like that. London, we keep talking about stand your ground. I don't think that really figured into the jury instructions, did it? No, no, not really. No. And the interesting thing is she actually said here that her concern was that the law required that they find that he intentionally killed which is interesting because that's actually not the law under second degree murder. Right. But I have to say, Dr. Drew, I actually agree with Ms. Ali about something. I read disappointment and actually maybe some anger in this juror's words, and I think it was directed at the prosecution because she said this whole thing was a political ploy. I don't think that the case should have been brought at all. The verdict is already there. If you know the law, it should never have been brought. And honestly, it's like the prosecution tossed the hot potato to us, the jurors. Now we have the burden of carrying that responsibility That's for finding very, him not guilty. Very interesting. Crystal, was this a publicity stunt through the uh, attorney's offices? Uh, well, it looks like a publicity stunt on the part of uh, the juror, B-29, because as Lonnie pointed out, there's a lot of conflicting information here. First, she comes out and she says there was n no evidence to support that George Zimmerman murdered Trayvon. Then she says, oh, I, he's guilty. I know he's guilty. We tried to m make him guilty. We couldn't. And then she says this she felt like it was a publicity stunt and it should never go into trial. So this juror seems a lot more calculating than she's trying, and she's trying to go for a book deal. And I wonder how much information she had about the trial before she became a juror. And, you know, this is just a drip, drip, drip of jurors trying to get book deals. And I think, frankly, they all need to be quiet because they're all yeah, getting conflicting information. Yeah, I, I, I think it was an unbearable task that they had. I agree with that. 
but they really need to be quiet. Miss Ali had to take a deep breath. Yeah, I totally disagree with you, Crystal, and here's why. I think this I'm juror surprised. has compassion. I'm surprised. I think this juror has compassion for the Martin family. I think this juror did the right thing by the letter of the law uh -huh. and followed the jury instructions and ultimately gave in to the not I think there were a bunch of dum dums. to do the right thing based on the law. But like so many of us feel, Six dumb they women. went horribly wrong that night due to George Zimmerman's behavior. So for you to doubt her compassion or to think this is yeah. a, a PR stunt, Tell me. what's the stunt? What does it really get her? Well, Chris, so here's something will not surprise you. Miss Ali disagrees with right. you. Uh-oh, Miss Ali, wait a minute. Well, you remember Dr. Drew, I think all of you do. I guess it's two or three weeks ago I mentioned that the instructions that you get in the jury room are so convoluted and so confusing that when you come out, the only person you think is guilty is yourself. Is yourself, and that's exactly what this woman is feeling. She said they couldn't convict on the okay. Florida's law because every instruction there keeps you from bringing in a conviction. Casey, you're right. TV coming at you. Wait a minute. Hey,